Are irreconcilable differences valid reasons for a divorce? Absolutely not. This irreconcilable differences was the worst thing to happen to families. You know, there used to be a time you needed a valid reason to get a divorce. And now you see a lot of these old Tia Maori, Nicole R. Parker, even though she wasn't married, Nia Long, deciding to just leave men and leave husbands in the other, the, the former, earlier cases, for really no reason. What does Nicole Laurie Parker say? She's, what, over 50? She needs more attention. She wants more attention. You look at even like a Steph Curry's wife. What's her name? Whatever Steph Curry's wife name is. Aisha, I think that's her name. Thirst trapping on the internet, wanting to be seen, wanting the attention, the dopamine hits that come from likes and comments. I mean, look, we're in a slightly different world with social media and the dopamine hit and the high that comes from attention and women are just craving this attention. But so often women get divorced for what are really stupid reasons. So let's say you're in a relationship and your wife wants you to do as she wants you to do. She wants it on her schedule. She wants it on her time. But you're a man. You don't feel like doing it at that moment. So this goes on and on and on where she thinks that she's the alpha and you're the And she just gets tired of not getting her way, not having her way. And in her mind, she's saying, especially if she's got hyenas around her and she's you know sharing your dirty laundry with them. And she's like, I keep telling him, I keep telling him. I'm starting to, starting to get frustrated. As long as I'm fussing, I'm still invested. But when I am quiet, when I stop talking, it's over. Why did you stop talking? Because you couldn't get your way. Look, nobody is going to get their way all the time. Maybe you don't get your way most of the time. But so many women just let this resentment build and build and build. And they're mad because he didn't jump when they said jump. And then let's look at the inverse of it. The yes, dear, the impact. She now, because you're always at her beck and call, she doesn't respect you. She views herself as the alpha, you as the bitch. So now you've got another problem. So no, irreconcilable differences, whoever, Whatever attorney got that going, got that into place, no doubt got rich. And a lot of other divorced attorneys have gotten rich too. But the toll is taken on the family has been disastrous.